It wasn't a dream. It really happened. Not too sure about the future of America. It's looking like this economy is about to another story for another day. So Steve Nash, I want to talk a little bit about the two time MVP Steve Nash. Now, you got to remember Steve Nash uh, coming out of Santa Clara didn't really have many offers coming out of high school. He was overlooked. He was small. He was short. Nobody really wanted him. But Santa Clara gave him a shot. He ended up getting drafted, right? So now here he is in the NBA, Dallas Mavericks. Damn, they give him a shot. Cuban puts the ball in his hands, and what does he do? He balls. Nash finally proves himself. Now, he's a little quick guard. He drives to the basket. He gets to the rim. He's making layups. He's missing layups. That's Nash's game. He hits threes, you know, but he wasn't yet quite polished he wasn't the steve nash who he'd become until he got to phoenix and when he got to phoenix man he really made shit happen i remember that first year he was there man they had quentin richardson over there you know they had joke jackson <laughs> uh excuse me joke johnson really balling you know joe was doing his thing that squad was a great squad you know and of course they dismantled it but the suns teams that would follow are some of the all-time greats phoenix suns teams you know some of those steve nash teams boris dial those guys were balling really doing their thing and steve nash had come into his own sean marion come on how do you forget the matrix around that time let alone the connection that he had with Amari Stoudemire. Yes, Amari Stoudemire. That really put Steve Nash on an entire new planet. He was on a new atmosphere, okay? Steve Nash was now that guy. He was a household name, not only in Canada, but in the US. Kids wanted to be like Steve Nash. It was cool to come down the lane and drop a dime like Steve Nash. Break your ankles, pull up. Pull up from the three ball, let loose. You know, Steve Nash used to get off. Let's call it what it is. Now, some say those MVPs are questionable, but for the sake of this video, we're going to respect greatness. Now, I preach about the Derek Jeter method. I preach about the Derek Jeter method. What is the Derek Jeter method? Well, the Derek Jeter method is keeping shit smooth, keeping it player, keeping it simple, keeping it you and staying true to yourself man Derek jeter never got caught up in any relationships during his playing career in my opinion that that helped him for the better this dude is ultimately arguably the greatest shortstop ever definitely the greatest yankee shortstop so what are we saying Derek jeter was able to have his pick of the litter and really have options and take full advantage of that he leveraged the lifestyle ladies and gentlemen Derek jeter leveraged the lifestyle so i'd always recommend the Derek jeter method as we spin the block back on steve nash what he does is he decides to marry alejandra amarilla now i don't know if this is some type of latina i don't know you know, I don't know her ethnicity. She could be maybe Cuban, maybe Armenian. There's no telling. Steve Nash decided to marry her in the prime peak of his career. When things finally got going great is when he decided to marry this woman. And not only did he decide to marry this woman, but he also had two kids by this woman. And that's okay. You know what I'm saying? You, you meet a woman. You get married, you have a family, you raise your kids, you want to build, you expect to build, you expect to have a, a nice life. The white picket fence, the Escalade or the big suburban, the Tahoe, whatever you're into, you smell me? And uh, barbecues, barbecues. You want to have those experiences with your kids, with your wife going to different events with the family movies outings man graduations you smell me 
Steve Nash wanted that experience. He wanted that life. He wanted that. And he felt like, man, hey, I'm a great guy. I'm Steve Nash. There's people that love me. You know what I'm saying? Kids across the world, they got my jersey on. They're imitating my moves. They want to be like me. I put on for Canada. Before Drake, there was Steve Nash. Before Drake, there was Steve Nash. But people forget about that. He was Canada at one point. Steve Nash was not only putting on for the Suns, but he was putting on for all of Canada. You know? Just ask the string of gems that he's got around Canada. A lot of those people don't even know Steve Nash for the hoops. They don't know the work that he's put on on the court. They just know them gems. They know that string of fitness gems that Steve Nash got out there in Canada, man. Let's call it what it is. And so what happened was he put his all into this woman, man, and this is the most money he's ever been making. This is the best he'd ever been. And what? And this is why I tell you guys, stick with that Derek Jeter method. It'll never fail you. Now, not only did this woman have two kids by this man, Steve Nash, she had two kids by Steve Nash, and then she had the audacity to sleep with his teammate. Now, she was sleeping with his teammate for a while. Now, that marriage had to be on the rocks. The thing is, did she tell Steve Nash ahead of time? Did she let the guy know ahead of time that the baby wasn't going to be his? And I and, and, I, and I, I got to think that's the case because, you know, you know, Steve Nash was just anxiously anticipating for that baby to pop out, not his complexion so he can go ahead and file for that divorce you smell me i don't think this was a surprise the day of the kid i think she had honestly let steve nash know that she had been smashing on his teammate man on his teammate now you give this woman your all you're at the peak of your career and she cheats on you with your teammate now, he's one of the greatest dunkers of all time. He was doing 360s in your wife, Steve. He was doing 360s in your wife. But that's because you got comfortable. You got comfortable and you felt like because you were this loving guy to the rest of the world that she felt that way about you. No, she wanted black balls dunked. And the cold part about it is, Steve. I feel for you. I feel for this soul situation. But when you take the Derek Jeter method, which is what I'm trying to coach some of these youngsters into doing, you don't get hit as hard. You're able to have a little bit of control. Now, peep this. Not only, not only did she go and cheat, but she had a whole baby by her teammate, a whole black baby at that. So that's that's crushing to the ego. That's that's a huge L to the Steve Nash ego right there that Jason Richardson is smashing your wife. Now, Jason, I, I would want you to go and find someone else, but this isn't necessarily about Jason. This video isn't about Jason. Teammates can get grimy. Teammates can get scummy, as you see. But the thing is did Jason, did they ever really have a relationship? Did they, did Jason Richardson ever feel like he owed Steve Nash? Now for the simple fact, leave the man's wife out of this. That's his wife. It's so many other women. It's so many other women that you're able to get Jason. But sometimes that spirit, that lustful spirit of that woman, it takes over. It takes over and people start acting the ass. And that's what happened in this situation. And you see how this woman was able to cause so much turmoil. But ultimately, I have no one to blame but Steve Nash and Jason Richardson. Both of these men needed to take the Derek Jeter method. You know what I'm saying? But they didn't, do, they, they didn't want to take that approach. They didn't want to take that approach. 
and it cost them in the long run it cost reputations listen to this listen to this steve nash's ex tried to you know take this man to court in attempts that he was blocking her from moving to la because she wanted to follow him to la to collect the child support now imagine your wife is cheating on you with your teammate he's doing all type of you know what i'm saying windmills through the legs on your wife and here you are getting sued getting taken to cleaners because she thinks that you're running because you're trying to duck and dodge child support she's still getting your ass for child support after making you look like a complete fool when i tell you to go to Derek jeter met <laughs> hey when i tell you to hit that Derek jeter method i'm not saying that just to say that if you are a young athlete coming up in the game you have no reason to get married it's not for you it will not work out steve nash was forced to start an entire this woman ruined everything man she ruined his entire empire now the good thing about being wealthy and you know what i'm saying having money and being able to uh make that money stretch and do what you do steve nash was able to start a completely new family and do his thing outside of his family but i feel for his kids that are attached to that that situation man his brothers he steve nash is forever attached to jason richardson not just on the court not just the lobs that he was throwing nah nah it's more than the lobs like i said now he's done yo their kids are siblings at this point and his wife did that understand who did that man understand who let that ride yes she doesn't give a damn she doesn't give two shits she's still trying to get money out of steve nash to this day till this day and this is a tall tale sign this is a telltale sign <laughs> i try to let you guys know hey this is what it is don't be so quick to think these women have your best interest and they're gonna be there with you for the long haul these things almost end bad every single time good luck thinking you're gonna come out of that mug scot-free it's not happening and when you go back and look at that quiet as kept that was pretty much the end of steve nash when they got rid of jason richardson that was the end of that son's team that was the end of that dynasty it was a wrap not saying that jason richardson was like a key part in that he was on the tail end of that regardless but you know him banging steve nash's wife only sped up the end of an era and how dare i fix my lips to say dynasty like they ever won anything they never yeah, let me stop man this is about steve nash's chick right his wife doing them dirty and ultimately like i said his play kind of dipped after that man he never was quite the same after that situation and one could say it was due to injury and he he had those nagging back injuries but sometimes man some traumatizing moments can mess with your psyche man and maybe he wasn't there all the way you know maybe that was really messing with steve nash's mind frame to where he couldn't perform out there on the court because i know when he was with the lakers like i said one could say it was injury but we know enough today about mental health to say hey that's what that dude could have been going through back then you know the trauma that he had to experience during that situation yeah that right there will make a lot of people want to end it all so the fact that steve nash was able to bounce back is very surprising but he bounced back better than ever because what he was able to do was start an entirely new family and ultimately that she's probably feeling some type of way like she's really feeling bad at that point but um steve nash is doing well jason richardson is doing well and neither of them are with her so ultimately she's like the loser in this but 
um she still managed to have their seeds all of their seeds so she's collecting money from them regardless and uh you know that pain is forever gonna live in steve nash whenever he looks at those kids like mommy did this you know she ruined our family she ruined what we had and and sadly you know sometimes uh, hopefully steve nash is not like this but sometimes that that creates a strain with the kids you know because when uh the father looks at those kids all he sees is what the mother has done to him so you know that's just going to take some help and he's going to have to take some time to get over that and i'm sure he already has gotten over that to be completely honest you know this happened so long ago but at this point it's just kind of crazy because they all share ties and they all have to see each other they all have to go to these graduations they have to go to these ceremonies these kids are all connected these kids are siblings and this is what you know alejandra decided to do um like i said steve nash he was able to start another family hopefully she didn't cause a strain between him and his kids but damn man this this type of thing could be avoided you know and you got to understand men a lot of the times uh there women are plotting on your friends let's just call it what it is they're plotting on your homies you bringing them around you thinking shit is sweet and hunky dory nah she's she's plotting on the homie she want to smash the homie she got eyes for your homie it happens you know what i'm saying and when your homies come to you and let you know that your girl is looking at them don't turn your back on the homies don't turn your back on the homies take that for what it is and charge her to the game maybe check up on check on her let her know, man see what it is but don't come at the homies don't press the homies man if they're coming to you like men letting you know what it is don't be so engulfed and clouded that you can't see i know you haven't had no coochie before but chill it's, it'll come to you just give it some time stop flaunting your girl like you just got a new pair of air force ones and you ready to show them off it don't work like that man you know what i'm saying if you're not ready for what comes with that then stay in the house because you gotta understand that if you have a beautiful woman and you're bringing her around and you're hey you're honky dory and you're friendly and you're buddy buddy hey man this is what happens in these type of circles you know it's all type of wife swaps going on it's all type of people dealing with other people's wives it is what it is now in this specific case i believe this was done behind steve nash's back i don't think this was an open thing and then when it finally came out that she was pregnant that's when she revealed hey this baby might not be yours and Steve Nash said, well, if it's not mine, you know, we'll just stay faced up until the baby's born. And if that baby not uh, mine, you know, it's a divorce. I'm done with your ass. But after but after two kids, that's the cold part. They already had a family. They already established something. They don't give a damn. They'll ruin you. They will ruin you. And that's why the Derek Jeter method is the method for you. Hey, it's the failed athlete, Coach KD. Man, that don't mean you got a failing life. Let's get it.